Hi there. Welcome to Bella's Vistas. While Mary and I have been visiting the Puffins at Alliston for the past 20 years, I recently spent three visits to the Puffin Rock over two days and I got some wonderful footage. These birds are just delightful. They're really comedians. It's fun to watch them come in for landings. They have a whole little ritual that they do. I thought slow motion would really bring out some of the comedy in their routines. I used the Olympus OM-1 with the red dot finder. I was using the 300mm f4 lens with the MC-20 2x converter. Shooting sometimes at 1 3200th of a second and I was using the slowest of the slow motion settings on the Olympus have to use manual focusing to use that. This little fella's coming in for a landing. So much fun to watch. Took rather a lot of patience to put together the pictures that we have. We've certainly deleted way more than we used. Have a fairly low success rate, really, with this type of photography. They're real little comedians and so fun to watch. This time I actually got some of them hunting. I've never been able to get that before, but I got some of the puffins coming in with Capelin. I was delighted to get those shots. One of them went out, caught a fish, came back and put it down the nest for its babies. Here's one coming in with the fish now. Put in on the brakes, they come in, stop and drop. The takeoffs are pretty interesting too. <laughs> really funny birds. Here they are at regular speed, just preening their feathers. With the capelin and his two buddies standing by with no fish at all. Look out below. I really like using the slow motion. Stop action too is a lot of fun. You know, I, I think I could just spend forever out there watching these guys. Wish I could come when they first come to the island and then do the whole season of nesting and laying eggs and raising the chicks. There's another capelin coming in. Dropping it in the nest. The slow motion really gives you a chance to see how they fly. <laughs> and move over there. Look at that. Wow. Another capelin coming in. Look at there. I've watched every one coming in through the lens to see if I could catch any capelin, and it's rare. Yes, it is. 
Oh, yes, it is. There's lots of other seabirds out here on the rock, too. Really high winds today, too. The wind was really high. My tripod was vibrating in the wind. I hope I get to come back next year. I'd love to go back again and see what I can get. But like I say, I could just spend day after day out there. There, There's one coming in from the distance. I've actually seen a puffin coming in with a capelin and a seagull rip the fish right out of his beak. Right in midair. Just go out and grab the fish from him when he was coming in. Toenails on their feet, flat duck feet with toenails. It's pretty amazing. If you like seabirds, Alliston is a great place to go. People are super friendly there. The seafood, the local seafood, is just wonderful. We were out fishing several times and made fresh fish and chips. Fish right out of the ocean and then deep fry them with some homemade french fries. It was just great, great. always something happening there's always something going on here you know here's a little bit of fast action now speeding things up because a slow motion sometimes it almost seems like watching paint dry but my I think it gives you an insight into their flying you know like the way they fly they're a bit clumsy they apparently they fly underwater better than they fly on the land I have no idea what they're up to. They seem to be having something going on all the time. They do this gaping thing where they open their beak, but they don't make any sound. I don't know what's with that. <laughs> I've been told that I should learn more about the animals that I'm photographing, but I'm so busy photographing everything I can find, and... Uh, I don't really do a lot of research in things, but I've been very fortunate in the wildlife that I've found from eagles to owls to the puffins. Ma dancing across the water with a capelin that he just caught, that was pretty fun. I don't know when they're looking around like that if they're looking where their fish might be or if they're, maybe their mate is out hunting for fish. I do not know because the puffins, as cute as they are, they all look the same to me and I can't really tell one from the other. With whales, you can tell one whale from the other by the markings on their tail and by scars that they might have from fishing equipment and things like that. But as far as puffins go, I can't tell them apart. I think they're all just wonderful. And I spent the last 20 years photographing them. Maybe I could spend maybe the next 10 doing the same thing. That would make me very happy if I could get out again here a few more times. 
because it's different every day. The wind is different, the birds are different, and there's wonderful people from all around the world to talk to at Elliston. Thanks for visiting Bellas Vistas. Like, subscribe, come on back again real soon.